this little heart Octoporary made out of candy canes. I will have my inspiration linked below because I do want to give credit for where I got the inspiration. So what I'm using are these two plastic candy canes, but these would be perfect if you have leftover candy canes like from Christmas or something like that. Uh, you could totally do that with these. Anyway, I'm just ripping um, some red and white homespun fabric and I am just ripping it about a, a half of an inch because I am just going to wrap that around these candy canes and so I only needed one strip of, of fabric because the length that my fabric is and I don't have any idea what it was but um, this homespun is so forgiving like you could even if you run out of you know the fabric you can always cut more and piece it together and you can even tell where it starts and stops I'm turning the two candy canes where they meet each other and I just put some hot glue uh, at the top and then at the bottom and then just kind of hold that for a couple of seconds so that it would adhere together and then I'm going to stick this into um, a little container and what I have are some little white buckets from the Dollar Tree and I usually find these in the uh, wedding section and so t I want to give this a little um, weight and so I have some tacky glue Elaine's tacky glue I just buy it in this big tub like this I'm just kind of showing you and I just put some in that little uh, bucket and then I have some glass beads because that gives me the weight that I want and then I have a styrofoam ball that I'm going to put uh, glue in over those beads because that is what I'm going to stick my greenery in as well as my candy cane heart. Once I get my candy cane uh, stuck in that styrofoam ball, I have this greenery from Walmart. It's boxwood and it's usually like uh, 97 cents. But then again, I'm thinking maybe they've gone up to $1.47 because sometimes I will buy some of the little stems and they're 97 cents and sometimes they're $1.47. So, but in the end, this boxwood is really cute and I love it. And so I just have my, uh, paper piercer uh, or my poking tool and then that is what I just poke a hole it helps me poke a hole in that styrofoam and then I can cut the greenery I cut those little stems in half because then that means they're not so long and then also I get twice the greenery and then I just will continue to poke those in there in hot glue and uh, until I get it filled up the way that I want I'm just going to make a simple bow and I just have some hemp cording or jewelry cording and I just make uh, six loops so three on each side and then I just tie it together in the middle so it holds and then I'm going to glue that onto my candy cane heart just right there in the middle I think it looks so cute just like that and then I can't figure out if I want to use one of these felt flowers from the Dollar General pack that I have or a button and I decided to go with that felt rose and it looks so pretty so then now I have some of these chalkboard labels that I was fortunate to find at the Dollar Tree and then it comes on a little dowel like this and I'm just hand painting uh, be mine on there and then that that is what I'm going to stick inside my topiary to give me a little sign. I just added some of these white berries that I find uh, on a little bush from the Walmart craft section. I think that just gives it a bit of softness that I'm looking for and then um, now that my sign is dry, I just cut off a bit of the stick and I like to cut it in an angle because then that kind of helps me put it into the styrofoam 
and this little heart temporary is complete. I love the way that it turned out.